A mission-critical test is set to launch from SpaceX's Starship site in southern Texas. After several disappointing attempts, including multiple rocket explosions, SpaceX is set to test the viability of the powerful Starship mega rocket tonight. America's mission back to the moon and ultimately Mars depends on the success of start of the Starship. For tonight's interview, we are joined by CBS's space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, good to be with you again. Um, what is why is tonight's launch so important? And, and can you help us understand whether the previous failures were in fact failures or whether they learned something from them? Well, you know, that's interesting. They, cer they certainly learn something from every failure, from every test they do. And of course, SpaceX always puts their spin on it. Uh, even if something fails, they go, well, we learned a lot, so it was successful in that regard. And that's true. Uh, but I think, you know, to be realistic how any of us would look at them, you know, the last three flights in a row earlier this year all ended with catastrophic failures uh, where the upper stage, the Starship stage, failed to get into space uh, and carry out its mission. So they've had real problems. Now, the reason this is so important is Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, views this rocket as the future of the company. He wants to replace all of the rockets currently flying, in his stable anyway, with these super heavy Starships to launch both satellites to low Earth orbit and with the bigger picture, uh, to send people to the moon and eventually on to Mars. That's his dream. And this is the rocket he says they need to do that. So they really need to get it flying. They need to work the bugs out uh, and perfect it as soon as possible to get on with that, that vision. And that vision is also a vision that's shared at least in some measure by NASA uh, as well. So NASA needs this to be a success too, right? Absolutely. Now, not the specific test, but they need the rocket to work. They are paying SpaceX to build a moon lander that's based on a variation of the Starship upper stage. We have a model here. It won't have fins on it, but it's designed to carry astronauts down to the surface of the moon as early as 2027. Now, John, to do that, it's unbelievably complicated. They have to launch this gigantic rocket multiple times, somewhere between 10 and 20 times, to refuel the moon lander in Earth orbit so that it can actually take off and fly to the moon. Uh, that's a hugely challenging proposition. Nobody's ever done anything like that, and it's clearly going to take time to do it. I don't know anybody that thinks they can do it by 2027. The question is, can they do it before the Chinese go to the moon around the end of the decade? And are that refueling, it's the first time I've ever heard of that. Is that a new idea or, uh, that's unique to, um, to the SpaceX, or is that essentially what the Chinese are thinking of doing, too? No, this is unique to SpaceX. You know, this entire rocket is reusable, John, and both stages use super cold cryogenic propellants, liquid methane and liquid oxygen. And the problem with those propellants is, is once you launch them and you get them away from active refrigeration, they warm up. And when that happens, they in effect boil in the tank and some of that fuel turns into a gas. You have to vent it overboard. So once the, once the Starship lander gets to Earth orbit, it's out of gas. So they've got to launch all these other rockets to fill it up again so that it can make it to the moon. That's been the plan from day one. Uh, but I think the number of flights they're talking about uh, is really daunting. That's going to be something to see. And it's clearly going to take time for them to perfect that technology. And we'll see if there's something to see tonight. Bill Harwood, thanks so much for being with us.